Hello fellow planners and welcome to the beautiful you channel. Um, getting ready to do my Sunday collaboration and gonna um, work with my Erin Condren and this is a homemade cover and the things I'm going to use for today's or this week's spread is this multicolored washi. I'm pretty, oh nope it's scotch so that's not from a dollar tree. I'm going to assume this is probably from Walmart. This, I do believe, is from Dollar Tree with the arrows. And then this is um, Purple Glitter Washi that I do believe is from Target. Um, but I was given this as a gift, so I'm not exactly sure if that's where it's from. And I'm also going to be using a hole punch. And the reason being is I'm most likely going to pull from this sheet. And I wrote a little note on here that this is from I'm a Cool Mom. On her YouTube channel go check that out um, this is something she um, pulled from and I wrote it down here craft exposure craft craft exposure dot com and so I just printed this off onto sticky paper um, sticker or paper and what she did that I thought was really cool was she took sponges and she sponged around the saying um, in different colors so that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose which one I want and then choose my colors and then sponge on it. Or like, you know, balloons here, you could actually do coloring with your markers or um, colored pencils or something like that. And then another um, page I got, and this is another one that I'm a cool mom um, linked to, and it's getsmore.com. And then these are more inspirational stickers. And these, again, I printed off on sticker paper, just plain sheets of sticker paper. So I don't do that all the time, but it is easy to do, you know, rather than using a glue stick um, and then just cut it. But if you don't have sticker paper, then definitely just print it off onto um, normal paper and then use your glue stick. It will be thinner, too, I think, if you use the regular paper. But since I have the sticker paper, I use it. So then, kind of what this gave me an inspiration was to do my own. I have some paper here, stickers, actually, when I was going through cleaning my desk, my craft area, that are circular stickers. And so I decided that this was a good idea for those. And so I made my own. So I just went on to Avery.com, and um, if you just, you can choose your sticker type, which that's it right there, and then you can just design away. And I mean, they have some pre-done things, and actually this background with the circles was pre-done, but I changed the colors um, on them, and then I just came up with my own little sayings, and I just individually typed all of those. So I might use some of these too. But um, what I'm also going to do is I will be gifting this to someone um, as well. I'm just, just going to do kind of a random little drawing um, with my planner, planner collaboration group. So one of you can expect to see these sometime soon. So I hope you're excited. And um, I will make sure to get that out to you soon. All right. So without... Um, going any longer here I am going to just break for a moment and come back with the finished product so here is the layout for this week let's move you on over here here I used um, one of those stickers I was showing you I just um, stamped a little I should say sponged a little color onto it um, up here I've got school is resuming I used the washi tape up here and cut some arrows here in Wisconsin it's um, primary voting day on Tuesday, so I don't want to forget to do that. Right here we have, whatever you decide to do, make sure it makes you happy. And this kind of goes um, with it. Will it be easy? Nope. Worth it? Absolutely. And then I put another one of the stickers down here from that stuff I printed off. And I sponged it in purple, and then I just... Um, Use one of my metallic Sharpies and covered the black with um, gold and silver. So I used the purple washi, the sparkly down here, and the striped. And then the striped in just a couple of boxes 
um, just for a little added pizzazz, and then the arrow is up there. And then this arrow is leading to um, a friend's birthday. So um, other than work, there's not a ton going on. Um, I just jotted down some things that I want to make sure I get done. And over here, these are actually um, all the, the week's menu that we're having. We just don't know on which days yet. So I just kind of listed them here. And then um, when we have the days set, I will put those on there. So yeah, just kind of a little bit of purplish and the um, light blue is uh, the theme for this week. So not a not super fancy, but I like the I like the colors a lot. This is I gotta say this um, stripe stuff is I've been waiting to use this for a while, and I think I'll probably use it more often. It's just so so colorful, and I love those colors, and I think they'll be good for. Um, a lot of our summer coming up as well. So, all right, everyone. Well, you have a great week and thanks for watching and make sure to check out all the other planner collaborators. I will put their links below and we do have someone new that joined us. So please make sure to give her a warm welcome and go check her channel out as well. Thank you very much.